The 1999 Izmit earthquake, also known as the Kokeli, Golkuk, or Marmara earthquake, occurred on the 17th of August at 3 hours 1 minute and 40 seconds local time in northwestern Turkey. The shock had a moment magnitude of 7.6 and a maximum Mercalli intensity of IX violent. The event lasted for 37 seconds, killing around 17,000 people and left approximately half a million people homeless. The nearby city of Izmit was severely damaged. Earthquake <inaudible> 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 The earthquake occurred along the western portion of the North Anatolian Fault Zone The Anatolian Plate, which consists primarily of Turkey, is being pushed west about 2 to 2.5 cm a year, as it is squeezed between the Eurasian Plate to the north and the Arabian Plate to the south. Major earthquakes in Turkey result mainly from slip along the NAFZ or the East Anatolian Fault. The Izmit earthquake had a rupture length of 150 km 93 miles extending from the city of Duce all the way into the Sea of Marmara along the Gulf of Izmit. Offsets along the rupture were as large as 5.7 meters (18.7 feet). From the timing of P wave and S wave arrivals at seismometers, there is strong evidence that the rupture propagated eastwards from the epicenter at speeds in excess of the S wave velocity, making this a supershear earthquake. Topic: <laughs> Damage. Destruction in Istanbul was concentrated in the Avcula district to the west of the city. Avcula was built on relatively weak ground mainly composed of poorly consolidated Cenozoic sedimentary rocks, which makes this district vulnerable to any earthquake. The earthquake was heavily felt in this industrialized and densely populated urban area of the country, including oil refineries, several automotive plants, and the Turkish Navy headquarters and arsenal in Golkuk, increasing the severity of the loss of life and property. The earthquake also caused considerable damage in Istanbul, about 70 kilometers (43 miles) away from the earthquake's epicenter. An official Turkish estimate of October 19, 1999, placed the toll at 17,127 killed and 43,959 injured, but many sources suggest the actual figure may have been closer to 45,000 dead and a similar number injured. Reports from September 1999 show that 120,000 poorly engineered houses were damaged beyond repair, 30,000 houses were heavily damaged, 2,000 other buildings collapsed and 4,000 other buildings were heavily damaged. 300,000 people were left homeless after the earthquake. There was extensive damage to several bridges and other structures on the Trans-European Motorway European Route E80, including 20 viaducts, 5 tunnels, and some overpasses. Damage ranged from spalling concrete to total deck collapse. <laughs> Fire The earthquake sparked a disastrous fire at the Tupras Petroleum Refinery. The fire began at a state-owned tank farm and was initiated by naphtha that had sloshed out of a holding tank. Breakage in water pipelines, results of the quake, nullified attempts at extinguishing the fire. Aircraft were called in to douse the flames with foam. The fire spread over the next few days, warranting the evacuation of the area within three miles of the refinery. The fire was declared under control five days later after claiming at least 17 tanks and untold amounts of complex piping. Topic. 
Topic: Tsunami. The earthquake caused a tsunami in the Sea of Marmara that was about 2.5 meters high. The tsunami caused the deaths of 155 people. Topic: Response. A massive international response was mounted to assist in digging for survivors and assisting the wounded and homeless. Rescue teams were dispatched within 24 to 48 hours of the disaster, and the assistance to the survivors was channeled through NGOs and the Red Crescent and local search and rescue organizations. The following table shows the breakdown of rescue teams by country in the affected locations Search and rescue effort as of August 19, 1999 Source, Usiden Total, rescue teams from 12 countries assisted in the rescue effort Oil Spill Response Limited were activated by BP to deploy from the United Kingdom to the Tupras refinery where their responders successfully contained the previously uncontrolled discharge of oil from the site into the sea. The UK announced an immediate grant of £50,000 to help the Turkish Red Crescent, while the International Red Cross and Red Crescent pledged £4.5 million to help victims. Blankets, medical supplies and food were flown from Stansted Airport. Engineers from Thames Water went to help restore water supplies. India also assisted by providing 32,000 tents and 2 million rupees to help in the reconstruction process. US President Bill Clinton and Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif later visited Istanbul and Izmit to examine the level of destruction and meet with the survivors. Topic: See also List of earthquakes in 1999 List of earthquakes in Turkey Yalova Earthquake Monument <laughs>